What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a full update rundown video. So it doesn't look like we're going to be getting the new update today but luckily I was able to get some new footage together and today I'm going to do a rundown of the entire update including some things inside of the release notes uh, that I don't think have been talked about too much just yet. So I'm going to go through piece by piece. First of all let's go ahead and start with the spell reworks. So we did get a new lightning spell which is going to be level 7 and available at Town Hall 10. So this means they're going to move the, the level six lightning spell to town hall nine as well as they decided to increase damage for the lightning spell level five and level six so pretty interesting stuff there gonna be difficult for them to try to get lightning spells back in the meta but it looks like lightning bolts are also going to strike closer together which means if you're dropping your lightning spells on a single building it's actually going to be way more accurate and theoretically do a lot more damage so next up for spells, let's talk about the poison spell. Personally, one of my favorite changes inside of this update, they change it to where the poison spell isn't going to do a flat amount of damage. It's actually going to scale up the longer the troop stays inside of the poison. So for troops like witches and wizards, which are sort of useless now inside of the defenseless clan castle with the current poison spell, it made it really hard to use anything but dragons or, or lava hounds. But now wizards and witches, they're going to be able to survive a little bit longer because the poison spell isn't so strong in the very beginning. And then troops like dragons and lava the hounds they're actually going to take significantly more damage if they sit in the poison spell for too long so hopefully this change makes it so it's a little bit more diverse inside of the defensive clan castle uh, but we'll have to see the result after people test it out and find out what's the best inside of the cc all right, so next up for spells, let's talk about the Earthquake spell. So the Earthquake spell's going to do way more damage, and now it's going to be regardless of a building's current hit points. Because usually, or in the past, it was for when uh, it was based on the percentage health remaining for a building determined how much damage the Earthquake spells did. But now it's just based on how many times an Earthquake spell has attacked that one building. So the more Earthquake spells you drop in a building, the less damage it's going to do. Trust me, I tested it with like 100 Earthquake spells on a single building on the development build, and it actually didn't kill the building uh so yeah you can drop a single earthquake spell it's going to do 25 percent damage at level four even against the town hall or the builder hut it's the same amount of percentage points and uh yeah it should be pretty interesting to see how people use earthquake spells now that this change is in the game so the final change to spells is actually for the freeze spell, and the freeze spell is now going to be able to freeze air troops, uh, which is actually pretty significant for certain army compositions. But that's going to do it for the spells. Let's go ahead and talk about the clan war tiebreaker, which was their final sneak peek. And now if the score is even at the end of a war, let's say it's 40 stars to 40 stars, the clan with more destruction percentage in their best attacks is going to be the victor. So let's say your clan does 60% on average against uh, their bases for your best attacks, and their clan did 55%. Your clan is going to be the victor and no longer are we going to have a crazy amount of ties in certain clans warlogs also a small a small minor change to uh the clan war i guess interface you're going to be able to have a new attack and defense tab that's going to be added to the clan tabs and the war stats to quickly see all the best attacks in war for either clan so this is going to make me make it easier to see uh what are some of the bases that have only been like 50 percented and ones that you can improve on to try to win the tiebreaker so a small change right there uh, but one that's definitely going to make it easier to find those weaker bases also for sneak peek number three they did announce a change that a lot of people have been looking for and that's that finally the level 11 walls are going to get a new look and not look like they're sticking out of nowhere and don't even belong inside of the game the level 11 walls are a little bit oranger now or i guess way oranger and uh, they're actually being called the magma walls so uh looking pretty good and definitely anything is an improvement over the old walls speaking of walls 25 more walls have been added to town hall 10 makes sense since they didn't add any new walls when the air sweepers came out and a couple of other things uh, so that's definitely going to change up the bases a little bit and uh, finally there were a couple other game balancing uh, notes inside of the release notes including that lava hounds can no longer target air troops so again you can see that the lava hounds and dragons got a pretty big nerf inside of the defensive clan castle for this update whether it's the poison spell scaling up damage um, whether it's the free spell now being able to freeze those troops inside of the air and then finally lava hounds are no, no longer able to target air troops so it should change up the clan castle meta a lot and i'm pretty interested to see what people People use inside of their clan castle also something that i saw inside of the notes that i had, didn't have a great great uh, chance to test out was that attacking troops will now engage defending troops from further away now hopefully they didn't go back to the past where your archer queen would run all the way across a base just to take out a single skeleton the developer the developers promised me it's not like that but it should change it to now uh, where your troops aren't all spread out and sort of being assassinated by some of the defensive clan castle troops and it should be interesting to see how this change affect, affects the game. 
Other small changes, Titan 3 and Titan 2 leagues are now going to be able to buy a one-week shield from the shop. This is because they want to see more people up in Titan 1 and Legend League. And finally, the Army Overview button is now going to be visible from the Clan War map. So that's going to do it for this update. Looks like this one's going to be a pretty small one. And like I said previously, that's because there's going to be an announcement at ClashCon on October 24th of next month. Because that's where they're going to be announcing the next update, which is supposed to be huge from what they are saying. Uh, so this one was sort of just a tune-up and a something to keep people occupied in the meantime with all these different spell changes and a couple of other things thrown in there as well. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of with the, about the update with a comment in the comment section below. Hopefully the update comes out tomorrow, but we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.